Today, I'm going to share with you my top 12 strongest scented David Austin roses. In at number 12, we have Desdemona, first introduced in 2015. Desdemona has a lovely, strong old rose fragrance with hints of fruitiness. Blackberry, lemon, almond. Oh, she is so beautiful. Mouthwateringly delicious. I highly recommend her. In at number 11, we have Lady Emma Hamilton. Now, at the time of filming this video, this was the only bloom out at the time. It's quite a small one. I can say Lady Emma Hamilton does get much bigger blooms and she is a stunner. Beautiful, fruity fragrance, very strong and very beautiful. In at number 10, we have Boscobel first introduced in 2012. This has a lovely myrrh slash fruity fragrance. Again, enough to make the mouth water. She's a stunner and she has a beautiful coral pink tone to her. Quite an unusual shade, to be honest. And for, for that reason alone, makes her even more beautiful. In at number nine, we have Strawberry Hill. This is a climber and you can also grow it as a shrub with plenty of pruning. Now this has a lovely myrrh fragrance, typical strong myrrh scent and she smells divine. And the blooms, the size of the blooms are absolutely enormous and she flowers in abundance and I absolutely love her. Gorgeous. I wouldn't be without this rose in my garden. And the shade of pink is just divine. Number eight, we have Jubilee Celebration. This is personally my favorite rose in my garden because I've never seen such a transformation from bud to bloom. The whole process is just extraordinary. She just changes face, changes color by the day, and she is absolutely gloriously beautiful. And she also has a gorgeous fragrance to match. Very fruity and very delicious. Jubilee celebration. She's one to have. In at number seven, we have Tess of the Dubervilles. Now you can grow this as a short climber or like myself, you can grow her as a shrub. First introduced in 1998. Oh my, I was still at school then. And she blooms in beautiful clusters. And when the flower head finally opens up, she is massive a voluptuous array of beautiful red, luxurious, silky, soft, satin blooms. I absolutely adore her and wouldn't be without her. <laughs> I say that about every rose though. <laughs> Just look how gorgeous she is though. Oh yeah, she's a stunner. And it's also worth noting she does really well in a vase. She has good vase life. Actually, I have two of Tess in my garden. I have one in a pot that I'm growing as a shrub. And the second one, I'm growing it as a climber. So it will be interesting to see how they differ. And I will keep you posted on future videos. In at number six, we have Gabriel Oak, first introduced in 2019. Gabriel Oak has a lovely, strong, fruity fragrance. 
and it is really quite intense and when you cut it and bring it indoors you can really get that scent oh she's a stunner In at five, we have Emily Bronte. Super strong, old rose and fruity fragrance. I get strong sense of grapefruit. She is again, mouth watering and oh my goodness, the fragrance blows your socks off. She is gorgeous, yes. I just love the pale apricot and the blush pink and cream and white, oh, she's divine. In at number four, we have Munstead Wood. Now, most of you know, this is one of my most favorite roses of all. She has the most intense, strong, old rose fragrance with hints of blackberry and pear. Oh, she is just beautiful. And I fear this bloom does not do Munstead Wood justice. She looks so much more beautiful in real life. She is one of the top best roses in my collection. She's the pinnacle of luxury. She's so deep and dark and wondrous. In at number three, we have Wallerton Old Hall. This is a climbing rose and it has a very strong myrrh fragrance and it smells very similar to Strawberry Hill but the intensity of the scent is much stronger. Now this rose is hailed as the strongest scented David Austin rose and I don't agree she is up there but not the strongest, not in my collection. Stay tuned to find out which is number one. But this is a beauty and her blooms, as you can see, they are humongous and they get even bigger. She really is a beauty. And I grow this on an arch down the bottom of my garden. And every time I walk past, I can't resist in burying my nose in those petals. She is stunning. In at number two, we have Jude the Obscure, first introduced in 1995. Jude has the most intense, intoxicating, addictive, fruity, strong fragrance. And I only have one shrub in my garden and I can't believe I have more. If you don't have her, hurry up, get your heels on, and rush and get to that garden center or get to the computer and order one because I kid you not, the intensity of the fragrance is just spectacular. You need her in your life. And look at the size of her blooms. And here we have the winner. Number one, Gertrude Jekyll, voted the most popular, the most loved rose of the world. And there's no wonder. First introduced in 1986, and ever since she has stole the heart of the nation, stole the heart of the world. And she has the most glorious, fragrant, quintessential English old rose scent. She is my number one, and she is a stunner. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Gertrude Jekyll. I'm Darren Harwood, and this has been my top 12 most fragrant David Austin roses. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't already, subscribe for more, and I shall see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching.